folks, this is a little sad um, and a little concerning. Uh, imagine that you are Glenn Beck. And you're in your faux Oval Office if they still have it. I don't know. The eggshell Oval Office. It's unclear. And you know that you are on the downside of your career, right? I mean, look, I understand that feeling. I, I, I feel like I've been at a plateau. I feel like I'm just at a plateau. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm... I haven't fallen from the heights that uh, Glenn Beck ha has fallen. It's a controlled descent. It's a controlled descent. I'm in for a soft landing. But Glenn Beck, let's be honest, uh, this time three years ago was a, you know, almost every story that came out about the media was about Glenn Beck. And now, if you came up, if you told somebody Glenn Beck, he, you know, he hasn't been doing his show for six months, they would probably say like, Oh, yeah, I was wondering what happened to that. But apparently he's still around. And uh, Brian Stetler invited him on reliable sources. Now, here's the thing. If you have self-awareness and you're Glenn Beck and you get invited on reliable sources, you got to say, hey, what's up? What am I doing on reliable sources? Hmm, am I in for some type of sandbagging? I wonder, is there any stories about me that's out there right now that maybe might be the news peg? Oh, I guess there's one about my business empire imploding again. Hmm. And, but yet you could still figure out how to remain surprised and offended that that was the reason you were invited on. Here is Brian Stetler um, pursuing really the obvious reason why he had um, Glenn Beck on. Although Glenn uh, has some media criticism that is really just about how Glenn Beck has the secret sauce again was actually consistent and cared when it was a Democrat in office and cared when it's a Republican in office. You know, those people exist around the country and they're watching you two, you, the media and Donald Trump, play in this little game back and forth and they're sick of it. They don't well, want to hear about it from either side. I want the critique because I invited you on. I'm self-aware enough to know that we need to talk about this because I know it's a problem. The mainstream media well, is having a very hard the time. The, main time. the mainstream media is having a very hard time reaching Trump's base. That's a fact. We see that in all the polls. Yeah, well, then here's, here's the deal. Brian, you all have my phone number. I've reached out to all of you in the past and said, let's have a conversation not on the air. You really want to understand? You want to hear the other why side? Why can't our viewers then let's have a can, conversation where why everybody's can't you tell not our viewers right now? Because it's all about ratings, because this is all about ratings. This isn't about ratings. This is about saving our country, bringing us together. Stop dividing us. I mean, you, <laughs> I can't. So, so to be clear, you think that I'm dividing the country? You think I'm dividing the country for ratings stop by booking you? Brian, stop driving. Look at what, look at what you're doing. When did this become about you? This is about the media and the administration. That's what you guys want to make it into. If it was about okay? me, I would do so like a 10 minute commentary the, the way you used to. Pause it for one second. So now Stetler clearly like is getting his producer's ear, his producer is saying like, you got to engage this. You got to make this. Now, Glenn Beck does not want it to be all about Brian Stetler. He's not talking about Brian Stetler. He's talking about the media, the media, which never mind whether or not it includes Brian Stetler, apparently does not include Glenn Beck. Because Glenn Beck operates outside the media and outside of Donald Trump. And he knows that he is the key to bridging the gap. And that's why he's given everybody his number. So don't personalize it. It's not about you, Brian. It's about me. It's about, it's about you, it's about not me, to me, Glenn Beck. <laughs> you're, you're making the mistake of personalizing it. And only I can do that because it's about me, not you. But here's Brian Stetler trying to make it about him. If it was about me, I'd get out of Blackboard the way about... you used to. <sighs> okay. Well, then maybe you should. <laughs> I, I mean, the point is, I, what, what do you mean is making it about me? I, I don't see how I've made it about me. I want to know It's how. not about it. You just said, <laughs> never mind. Look, Brian, if you want to have a conversation, the media really wants to know, great, we can have that conversation. But every time someone, every time I've approached, everybody always says yes, 
But as soon as it gets tough or uncomfortable, nobody's interested. Nobody's interested in looking at themselves and saying, what did I do? I know what I've done. I know what I've done. I've There's tried to make these, amends yeah. and I'm trying yes. to. And we've talked about that before. You're, I, I completely agree with you. And we all do need yeah. to be more self-reflective. I do have to ask you, there's this new headline on the Daily Beast saying that your company is in trouble, that you were trying to find a buyer. Is this related to the point no. about people not talking to Pause each it, other? Pause for a second. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> there's a problem with my company. <laughs> Go ahead. This related to the point no. about people not talking to each other, that if you want to create that media company, there's not interest? What's, what's going on with that? Wow. 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 Brian? Thanks a lot. I think that's the most ridiculous um, question I've ever heard. I, I'm sitting here ready to talk to you about the detaining of children and parents and trying to break, break families apart. Something that has been happening with Janet Reno. That's why it went to the Supreme Court in the first place. With Janet mm -hmm. Reno, it's been happening. We want to stop it and you want to play those games? Have a nice day. What game did I just play? So the question on the Daily Beast website, the headline says, Glenn Beck's media empire is imploding again. That's the headline on the Daily Beast. Yeah, there you go. Get out of here, Glenn Beck. Don't you understand, though, if you all, if the media basically runs all of this through me and we'll have the conversation off air so that we, nobody has to know that you're, you're, and you put me in the center of basically the entire media landscape again. Uh, you put me, we have the media here, we have Trump and Trump voters there, and I'm in the middle. If I'm in the middle, and I'm probably going to need a simulcast on all stations at uh, all time. And wait, you're asking me if this is some type of business ploy? My God, I'm offended by that. <laughs> Jesus, God, Brian, how could you do that? If Stelter stuck the knife in like that with all his guests, I would watch that show. Every I know it. Day. I know it. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I've never. I've never. T this is. Oh, gosh. When I got called for reliable sources, I thought you wanted my advice. Still paying off the loans on the Oval Office, too. Exactly. Remember when Glenn Beck got woke? Oh, yeah. That was funny. Him and Samantha B. Yeah. <laughs> 